you know, we started to see these hurdles on processing. We were processing our poultry on farm under uh, the, mm. the uh, USDA exemption. Um, and, you know, we were basically this little like mini vertically integrated operation. Uh, and right. that just wasn't working for us. Economically, it wasn't penciling out. It was you couldn't figure out where one enterprise started and the other one began. We were you know, hauling animals to the processor. It wasn't really the <laughs> lifestyle that we were we envisioned. Um, yeah. And uh, and so. Uh, at the same time, we had developed a really great community of other farmers that we were, uh, you know, we'd work with at the farmer's market, or we would maybe share a load of feed, uh, like they would get half the load of feed and we get the other half to help mm -hmm. sort of balance out cash flow and those sort of things. Uh, mm -hmm. And that's what, and we it may even like share a market opportunity or uh, a load of animals going to the processor. And so we started to see like, like I have a natural, I'm bent towards like collaboration in general. But that um, seeing that in practice really started uh, pushing us to think about, is there a cooperative model that would allow mm. us to, um, you know, have a more sustainable model for our farm and our community here and yeah. address some of these issues where the farmers could really focus on being great farmers. And then there'd be, yeah. you know, over time, what it's kind of developed into is hiring professional people to run marketing sales, distribution, customer service. Right. Uh, but not like not have the farmers lose ownership of that. And so not right. require the farmers to run and understand the, you know, have the expertise to do all those things, but to mm -hmm. um, have a stake, in, you know, basically to still have ownership of that entity. And then we had a, um, a customer come to us, come to one of our, like one of the farmers that was part of the conversation and want to place an order for uh I can't remember how much chicken it was, how much pasture chicken it was at the time, but yeah. it was a sizable amount that none of us could produce on our own. Um, <laughs> and at that time, like probably the biggest volume. So it was really a customer, like that demand piece was also a big galvanizing yeah. factor in that moment.